10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. <laughs> that's the first sound that's going to play in the episode. Just telling you right now. I didn't. I thought I wasn't going to get it out in time. <laughs> no, no, you got it out, bud. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> Amazing timing. Yeah, because if you if you if you push that too far or too hard, you get in trouble. Yeah, you know? no, I, yeah. If, if, Gary, if I thought some sputum had come up, I would not <laughs> include that sound. But we are in the episode now because that is the first I, thing the listener heard. <laughs> it was, you know, they're not going to have the countdown though because that's also part of the timing. Yeah, but again, I can only take so much credit for that. That's just my body deciding to give me a little. Set and Spike. Gary Butterfield, Naturally yeah. Funny. Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the podcast where we talk about every single sound and gas in Gary Butterfield's body. I'm William Hughes, and I'm joined as always by a guy who's a real uh, winner of the Belmont Stakes, Gary Butterfield. Uh, I have a gas-related thing I wanted to run by you. Amazing, and yes. It, it's, uh, I know that's a, a frequent talk, topic of conversation for me, but it wasn't, uh, I wasn't planning with this burp. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, the, Gary, that's that's really comforting, comforting yeah. to me to know that you weren't. This was not yeah. a planned burp. Here's my here's my thing. Yeah, man. Dracula mm-hmm. farts or burps, right? Because uh, I understand okay, his sorry. chemistry. Like his body is in stasis. You know, you get dead dead blood yeah. and stuff. But when you're uh, he's drinking blood, yes. which he drinks, you're going to get air. Like especially if you're doing it around someone's neck. You know, there's no straw mm-hmm. there. Like they don't always make a make a seal. You're gonna you're gonna swallow air. That air has to come out somehow. Well, Gary, right? I'll I'll go one further on you uh, because okay. I uh, I took a trip to Chicago recently, and we went. Uh, Livy and I went to the Field Museum, which is a fantastic museum. Do you know Field Museum's not named after Fields? It's named after a guy named Field. I, I assume so. Field was a uh, little trivia here. Field was my alternate last name. I was going to change to if I wanted to <laughs> run away from my dad's identity theft. Oh. I was going to be Gary Field, uh, and then I didn't do it. Um, <laughs> Hello, I'm Gary Field. It's nice to meet you. It- We're like Fields. I don't know. I, something that, that I, so I didn't have to completely start over. Oh, sure. You know? <laughs> you know the government doesn't go, eh, close. <laughs> no, no. I, I just, for my, so I wouldn't have to re- remember a whole new thing. You know? You were just like, trying to pay I, tribute to your favorite gin blossomed comedian who doesn't work with dogs or animals. Or, pe- yes. or kids. Kids or animals. Yeah, w, I'm a big WC man. Um, the, uh, I also thought about Larry Butterman, which is my, uh, the thing I used to sign up for AOL time mm-hmm. on. So but Gary, anyway. I, I was at the field museum and yes. they had a whole thing on blood suckers, which was great. Oh my God. It was okay. so cool. But the thing, the most interesting thing I learned about that is that because most blood suckers, like notably mosquitoes only want red blood cells. That's what they're eating. As okay. soon as they start sucking from you, they are excreting every other part of your blood out of their ass. Huh. Yeah. They are just shitting like a stream of like the plasma and the white blood cells uh, and the platelets are just coming right back out of their ass because they don't need it. You know what I'm hearing from that? Constant Free diarrhea, plasma. Dracula? Cha-ching. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, yeah. We get it. We get some mosquitoes. Uh-huh. We, we get like a, a short length of hose. And then we harvest that plasma and sell it to local plasma banks. Where is the short length of hose being attached? The mosquito sea. So you're not just talking about a short length of hose. You're talking about one that is extremely small in diameter as well. Yes. Yeah. And then hooked up to some kind of machine. Need not be specified. Gary, is it illegal to unleash a horde of mosquitoes on a community? I think it's probably illegal. Could you illegal, text Andrew, but, please? Yeah, I, I will. Um, I think it's probably illegal, but I also think that it's probably pretty hard to get caught. As as the everything to Guppy official legal representative, I would love for Andrew no, to I'm, weigh in. I'm doing it. Yeah. Uh, hey, Andrew. <laughs> is it? And, and it's in the boys chat. So, Brian, we might get some com- com- bonus commentary. Yeah. Uh, Brian does legal. computers? Uh, Brian uh, Optics, he does like, um, oh, not, not the right. computer kind, the glasses kind. Yeah, 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 I forgot, right. He yeah. like works for Zeiss um, or whatever. A bunch of mosquitoes on a community. 
I worry that saying a community set makes it sound like we're targeting particular groups. I just meant like a like you know just an area. Yeah. Well, too late now. Yeah. The arrows That's in okay. the air. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, but so, yeah. so Dracula at this point, so he would be constantly diarrheaing plasma. Yeah. Yeah, and burping and farting and shitting. Yeah, it, sounds, Jeez, it turns out Dracula is a little gross. Dracula was at a party. Dr- Dracula. If I <laughs> if there's one thing I associate with partying, it's an endless stream of fluid coming out of my ass and into your mouth. Oh, the um, see, there's where our short length of tube. You know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, recycle. The The idea that... Uh, hey, Gary, the, I love the inhuman centipede. Because it's Dracula. <laughs> I like that. The uh, undeadipede? Undead? I, Not as Gary, good. I, yeah, I was playing around with that in my head, and it seemed unwieldy, yeah. and thank you for proving that to be true. <laughs> I'm a counterfactual. Um, the, uh, the whole sexual lore of vampires uh-huh. takes on a different kind of tint when you think about that. Yeah, a more Germanic one, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's significantly more like a German Isn't it? fairy tale. Slash. <laughs> Isn't it <laughs> yeah, fun cryptid. that Germany has to be like, I guess... We're the we, Shizen. We're the shit people, and that's still... Yeah. That is an improvement on the reputation, so... <laughs> yep. We have upgraded to Shizen Mensch. <laughs> <laughs> God, Gary, I uh, forgot you speak perfect German. I, I speak perfect accent. Show our wolves to anyone, Mr. Knight. Uh, Gary, it's um, uh, it's Monster Blitz. It is. Where we are talking about every monster. Gary, I did a little game while I was waiting for you to get on the call today. Okay. What percentage of the monsters do you think we have covered? That's a fun question. Yeah. I have the answer, so I, I just want to... Mm-hmm. Don't scroll uh, up and down on the list. Just no, no, give me I'm your gut. Scrolling. Yeah. Now, I'm going to say I do see where my cursor is on the scroll. There, uh-huh. But there's also a bunch of back matter yeah. on, uh, on fandom wikis. So... Um, I'm going to say 55%. You're very close, Gary. 50.5. 50.5%. We're at almost, that is we quite close. basically passed the exact halfway mark last episode. Time to take a break. Time to take, time to slow things down. Things sure, slow fire it down. To speed things up. Yeah. Is the, yeah, if we slow it down, we'll speed it up. I never understood that um, lyric. No, it's not, it's, uh, it's it just because something is the, one thing is the opposite of something. It doesn't make something pr- profound. You know, is his real name John Popper? Or is that a is that a stage name? I know he's a bad person real or some shit. I think it's his real name, John Popper. Yeah, no, there's no uh, born whatever. All right, nope. he's a, an heir to the people who invented poppers. Like the gay community owe him so much. <laughs> yeah, Gary, <laughs> Gary, I know you're trying to stay a little bit away from social media. If you could go on Blue Sky and tweet <laughs> and 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 skeet that out, I would love it. And then just immediately deactivate again. Yeah, just deactivate again. <laughs> gone. Here and gone. The gay, like, happy pride. The gay community owes so much to John Popper John and his Popper. family. <laughs> I don't know. I like that joke. I would stand by that. I, w- I might I might blue sky that out. Um, Maybe. Gary, yeah. I, I do have some prepared material for today. Oh. Now, is it more prepared than my Does Dracula Fart? thesis I, I gary i would say equally prepared i don't like okay you thought gary i'm delighted that you mm-hmm. thought about the show before the show i don't think that's happened <laughs> it very ha- often it's it's happened like two more other times i think yeah that's why i that said it didn't say never <laughs> yeah it's it doesn't happen that often though it is true whereas i usually um, in the hour i'm waking up before we record i'm usually trying to think because I don't do fucking anything, Gary. All I've done for the last couple of days is play Kingdom Hearts games, and I'm not doing that to you anymore. That I joke's that. played. That joke... It is pretty played out. It took over Slack, but it's only because, like, I no longer think it's funny that you don't like Kingdom Hearts games, and I don't want to torture you with it. I just... It's what I'm playing, and I'm thinking yeah. about them. You're talking about, about, about yourself. And I, uh, I, as a joke, I love the channel. Uh-huh. I wouldn't have put a screenshot of my yeah, of if I did wasn't kind of a joke. And then I actually did because I'm like, oh, this is going to be Kingdom Hearts talk for a little bit. And that's fine. I just, I got no, there's no place for me there. But then every conversation has to be about me. Gary, can we you acknowledge know? another way that I'm a good friend and that you should like me more? Only if we're also acknowledging my responsible, mature reaction to this. It was a really good, responsible, mature reaction to someone bringing up a video game you don't like. Yeah. I, I feel like that's, the, the, the that is growth on do. a curve. That is growth on a curve. That is for me. That's incredible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because you know what, Gary? Gary, hold you know? on. Thank you. 
You're, you're welcome. I, I honor I a lot to John Popper. <laughs> I didn't he, think he, about he, it that much. I honored that. Yeah, it, it's a you know maybe me as recently as four years ago. Yeah, we we'll just spend a long time like kind of in a Tourette's like fashion listing the things that, about it that I don't like. Now Almost I did go on Blue Sky, Sky and I did see you doing I, a little I, bit of that. <laughs> I w- no, that was a, that was a mental health check in. That okay. was also very mature. That was me being like, "This shouldn't bother me as much as it is." Um, <laughs> Gary, do you hear the key, the, the 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 interesting part of that sentence? What is that? It's the it is. Oh, it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's a uh, no, no. That was me at the time. Yeah, yeah. Um. So so the uh, quoting at the time present tense shouldn't be bothering me. It is. Also, X, Y, and Z are happening. Sure. Something's wrong. You know, well, you develop those, uh, those like, uh, the little early warning systems for your your, stu- your dumb brain. Yeah. You know? I do do that. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Gar- before we get into my prepared bit, yes. I also want to, can we acknowledge my huge growth? Oh, yes. I listened to an episode of Real Lich Hours. I yeah. had an opinion on something that you said. And then what did I do, Gary? You wrote a very thoughtful uh, Patreon comment. Instead up and, of and blowing up your phone, which I can yeah, do at any time. You've given me access to make a... Mm-hmm. I've mentioned this before. It's completely fucked that you own a box I can make buzz. Yes. Uh, I, I And you you own the one person in the world who owns the tactic to get me to keep it on. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> take, I, I know. <laughs> Gary, Gary's trying to weaponize that I asked him to be my on-call person in case my cat died. I would not weaponize it. I'm just saying. <laughs> You're weaponizing you it a little bit. You can't ordinarily make it buzz. Yeah. You know how to, though. <laughs> like, if you if you were a less moral person, you'd know how to weaponize that. Sure. I, I'm just yeah. saying that I'm the, like, because I don't think most of your friends listen to your shows. Um, and that's pr- actually, like, heartbreakingly true. Like, I, I'm just like, you know, Le- I'm like, Levi, hey, man, Elden Ring, you like that? <laughs> and you're like, nope. <laughs> and you kind of throw in throwing plugs for his show into your shows. Constantly. <laughs> like, I just did one recently. I know, even though his um, show has an incomprehensible name. It does. Pod, to, get, to pod Save the n- Waking Thing Guy. Yeah, Pod Save the Waking Sands. <laughs> a smile suits better. Um, the... Uh, yeah, but you wrote a very mature uh, comment about your uh, your disagreement or your 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 way in. Rather. Yeah, I'm just yeah. It's I, I now I'm just thinking about the fact that I'm like because I I never Gary I don't know if we talked about this I would never heard of you before we met. Uh, yes, my I friend mean, like John yeah. had heard of you. He'd listened to some of like was listened to Waff some, but I had no idea who you were. Okay, Cause, and uh, which I think John. is important. Yes, because it would have like flavored. Those initial weird friend dates we had. Yes. For people who don't know, we had official kind of like friend dates. Yeah. Uh, and we would go and we would uh, talk about Fallout a lot. Yep. Uh, there. And at bars, uh, neither of us, like that, w- you're not a big drinker. No. Nope. That was on my way out of like big drinking, but also I felt like I needed a beer because it was a friend date. And it was like, right? Because it's like a, a, yeah. ma- like a, <laughs> Like two again, your your partner at the time was like these yes. two people would like each other correctly. Yeah, yeah. One of the one of the uh, a great gift she has given me. And and we were like, well, neither of us had that many friends, so yes. So we went to like very inappropriate like dude broy bars. Yeah, uh, you know because they were equidistant between us, if I recall. Um, that, I don't that, know why sa- that sounds those. right. That sounds right. Yeah, one no, of them, one of them was definitely those. near my improv theater. Yeah, because I was still living up yeah, yeah. in uh, Southern Washington at the time. Yes. Okay. So yeah, not equidistant, but like not into deep South Portland for you to go. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And then we would sit and drink beers and like eat an app. Yeah. And mostly talk about Fallout, and then turn into like a. Hey, do you know about? Are you familiar with, uh, this? And the answer find, was almost always yes. Yeah, to find new tributaries, substitute fallouts uh, for things. And then like, after four of those, ground? we decided to ground? live together. Yes. Uh, and then uh, I watched you make some omelets. Uh, with Brayton. Yeah. The, the beautiful, uh, you know, the, the, the banana on this fluffernutter. 
But it's the most manufactured friendship I've ever built. It is a real matchmaker, matchmaker kind of thing. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, it it worked out great. It did uh, work out great. You're one of the people I feel closest to in the world. Yeah. What what a, what a, those were, those are great friend dates. We should start doing workshops on how to do them. All of which leads me to today when you canceled on lunch with me. Um, I did cancel on lunch. (laughs) um, I I feel bad about that. uh I, I just got, you know, really bad. No, no, uh, Gary. Hey, do you want me to keep going? No, yeah. no, I don't. I don't. I I was joking there too. Okay, I, Gary, actually I, I only bring it up because it, it ties into a uh, the bit I was already going to do the prepared bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I don't actually. No real feelings. I feel I'm fucking busy. Uh, yeah, I got a big secret that I'm keeping from everybody <laughs> yeah. uh, that I mentioned every week. Except, uh, and don't look that up. <laughs> Fuck. Everyone else. God, uh, edit, edit, edit. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, um, but yeah, just uh, I got that going on. It's taking up a lot of time in, in mind space, and then also Hell World. Uh, sure. Yeah. So. But Gary, I was thinking about my. I, I guess I do have a worry that instead of our friendship becoming the most important thing about Guppy, okay. Guppy might be becoming the most important thing about our oh. friendship. And I thought, what's a way that Gary and I could connect on different axes and kind of just. Just keep things fresh. You know, you got to keep things okay. fresh in any relationship. Gary, what if we started a league? Okay, what kind of league? I have a lot of suggestions. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, wait. Sorry, breaking news. Oh. Law Dog. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, LOL. Uh, so that's what I got. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. LOL. Uh, no, no response yet. So I I don't know if uh, so okay yeah. well that's the answer that's the answer yeah not illegal <clears throat> yeah just uh, it's it's low lots of legal yeah <laughs> so was league of legal for. league of legal uh, what kind of leagues would we start will so it, I I have a lot of suggestions here and I just kind of want to get so I'd like to prematurely remove a couple phrases from your vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> For in service, Gary, of the bit. Okay, I'll do my best. The first phrase is, I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in green room conversation with uh, uh, questionable consent. Yeah. 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 We were, were talking about Miss Piggy. Piggy. I want to be extremely clear. We weren't yeah. just like rapsing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or waxing it, it, rhapsodic about questionable consent. No, no, it's about Miss Piggy and all the the fetish stuff. And the second phrase is, "I don't have time to do that." Okay, so I don't have time. I don't want to. Yeah. Okay. Can I uh, can I ask a follow up question, please? Is it okay within this for me to ask follow up questions that then may determine if I'd like to do it? So, like, if I we play around with the the league mm-hmm. for a little bit, and then you say something that I'm like that's too far or is the idea always yes i'm just up for whatever i'm going to do all these leagues i gary it's just i know you buddy the I, I, I love yeah, yeah the, i want to reflex i, wanna, I don't want to do that yeah the, the yeah. gary butterfield i don't want to do that reflex is uh maybe the most powerful muscle gold. in your body yeah it's, it's comedy gold is what it is on an improv podcast yeah. um the uh okay as, i will not as no someone who invite is typically the invitee in our lives mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, it's yeah. just a reflex I've spent a lot of time with, and I feel like I already know its contours. No, I understand. Uh, Andrew says, continues, potentially, I wouldn't advise it. Okay. Fuck. Okay. Um, Are we, okay. Now we have to print at the bottom of the canister, our lawyer advised us not to do this. Yeah, it's got to be on this podcast. Okay, thank you. Uh, thanking emoji. Okay. What's the, what's the thanking emoji? I, th- I think they're putting your hands together. Okay, yeah. It looks like a prayer, but I think of that as like a thank you. <laughs> that is a prayer, yeah. man. No, I know, but it's, it's literally I, I it colon pray colon. You know how you can put your hands together and kind of nod your head as a silent thank you? Feels a little racist. It is, but like dudes do it. Yeah. I think like Rob Lowe's character did it in Wayne's World. Yeah, he's um, a, yeah, but he uh, is praline and dick. He's He's rich. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Me. Building ships and bottles. I, you know what? What I want is basically a, like a one to ten rating from you. Okay. 
<laughs> Thank you for limiting me to numbers. No, you can. Uh, um, we can talk about it yeah. more, but I want to get your gut reaction to these things because I have a lot of them. Yeah, uh, that's like an eight. I cool. think that sounds cool. Okay, getting bit by things. Do is there a way to monetize it? I mean, we could definitely charge dues. We, we okay. ideally we would be getting other dudes, of uh, people, other people. Sorry, I think of leagues as like yeah. a dude thing, but that's some yeah. sort of fucking. They're, they're, they actually they had a pill that made a league of their own. What? They had just a pill that allowed there to be in a league of their own. It's not just a dude thing. I always forget the scenes in that movie where they have to take those huge pills. <laughs> those gigantic baseball pills. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, and they're weeping, uh, and then the, and then the tears suck back up into their eyes because there's no <laughs> crying in pillball. Yep, and their eyelashes turn into mustaches, and then they play uh, because of the baseball thing. Um, I do like imagining like a like a Sesame Street stop motion of eyebrows moving around and down the face to form a mustache. Yeah, I like that too. You could do that with Wooly Willie, those like magnet face guys. Yeah, you could. Yeah. Um, the, to me, if, if you know, yes, we could get other people to join the league. Mm-hmm. This is like a four. Okay. Does it help that I, I was trying to, th- like, I think the bigger the bite and the more poisonous the bite, or the more infected, in the case of the Komodo dragon, who is not poisonous, but whose mouth no. is so dirty that you are likely to die from the bite. When you say the more, mm-hmm. what is the second half of that sentence? What do you mean? Like, the more, the better? The points. bigger the bite, more, the more, more points. Po- okay, more points, I see. Um, the whole league yeah. thing means we're operating in a competitive framework because no, I, know, I, I, know, I can't I think I, I can't write a bit that doesn't exist within the will verse. Yeah. Who against? Yeah. Um, I, and that might bump it up to a five. Okay. Humming, producing the sound in parentheses. Like, like, like eight humming, recognizing the sound. Ooh, uh, and it is predicated that we're in this league together. We both start it. We will both be the founders of the league and co-treasurers for okay. grift reasons. Six. Let's do. Let's do a quick one. You hum a song at me. Okay. That you think I will know, but is not completely obvious. Hmm. I I got just the one. Hmm. 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 I don't know it, Gary. Fuck, I'm bad at the league. Uh, that's uh, that's what was why I gave it a slightly low score because I wasn't sure. Yeah, I'm not good at humming. What was the song, Gary? Stop it. Uh, I would I would do anything for love. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. All right, my turn. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you, you made it very Mario there. <laughs> the uh i don't know oh it's the mcdonald's i'm loving it jingle oh mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah this is hard oh i mean that's just that's then that's the third league is recreating the previous person's humming <laughs> 10 uh real life uh, blitz ball in a giant sphere of floating water how do i breathe what uh one Netrunner. Oh, uh, nine. Yeah, yeah. Some of these I put in because you might actually yeah. want to do. Yeah, yeah. That would be cool. I like Netrunner. I don't have anybody to play it with. I've, not, I've never played it. I just know I would like it. It's interesting. It's, a, it's like a, I love the idea of like a, a two-person competitive card game that is completely asymmetrical. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Memorizing. Seven. Forgetting. One. Pickleball. One. How many jelly beans in the jar? Eight. That Doesn't that sound kind of fun and you're it surprised no one's ever done it? Just... And it would be fun to get better at it. Right? Like, you would, what, you would... Would ha- what would be happening? What would you be learning? Something. <laughs> Estimation, like, I believe. Or, yeah, or really, a lot like, of things about jelly bean volume. The, yeah, the, the, like, the, the relation between like the, the visual, the number, and like... Yeah, exactly. Like measurements, like dimensions. Like it would be very like that's a, that's an interdisciplinary science. I I um, don't want to go googling. I bet there's some small community that is really into g- 
guesstimation of things in yeah. jars. The jelly beans in the jar community. It's a good thing to get. Oh, uh, we got uh, some extra law dog. Okay, great, great, great. Through. Okay, so potentially I would admit I said, okay, thank you. He says, uh, I mean, it's certainly illegal, criminal, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. in parentheses. So thank you, Andrew. <laughs> yeah. uh, if, you, if you know the mosquitoes carry disease and your intention is to infect people. But whether collecting and unleashing mosquitoes for shits and giggles is illegal, I don't know. Could potentially violate state and or federal and animal control or pest protection laws. Okay. I'm going to say it wouldn't be for disease. Okay, yeah. Or, I don't want to tell him what it is going to be, though. For what, is, what is his hourly rate? I, I, we, we can't afford it. Oh, uh, if I was representing the Riddler and he proposed <laughs> this to me, I would advise it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I imagine a lot of conversations between the Riddler and his attorney go that yeah. way. Yeah, if I were representing the Riddler. Riddle me this, Mr. Epstein. No, no, don't do it, no. Like, well, what if I riddled this? No. I went with uh, Epstein. No more riddling. I, I, I want to I dial into that for a sec. Epstein is obviously a tainted name, but also on yes. another level, I went with it as a lawyery name because it's Jewish, I think. So uh, yeah. there's a lot there's, of problematic happening there. there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a lot of boy, yeah. a lot of lawyer names in media are Jewish, yes. but that's because of a mixture of biases and an actual large number of Jewish lawyers. So yeah, I I was just thinking if you just like said, hey, make up a lawyer name right now, if I would avoid the same thing. I think I, I don't know, think I would have said Epstein, but I might have said like you know Newberg or something like that. Yeah, I think you just got to go with Steel. <laughs> yeah. No, if I yeah. say if I did the Riddler voice and said, riddle me this, Mister Steel, it's no. It sounds that, like that I'm sounds like a to... worse supervillain. Right. That sounds like somebody who just takes things and doesn't have a gimmick. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> <laughs> like... Hello, Batman. I'm Mister Steel, and I took that guy's oh, you... wallet. Oh, are you made of steel, like Mister Freeze? What? Do you have, like powers over steel or anything like that? No, I just took his wallet. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was that was Batman breaking my, my jaw. Yeah, <laughs> breaking your spine. Um. Yeah. Oh, man. Gary, trucker seduction. Can I can I let you know my thought process on this? Uh, Gary, I love your thought process. It's the whole okay. reason I do this fucking show. I am torn between one of the forbidden things I can't say <laughs> and then also seriously considering how good I'd be at it. Like going to a truck stop. Yep. And just seeing what you can pull. Yeah. Like that might be a thing. And because it's a league, it has that competitive element. I'm not necessarily enjoying it. It's mostly just so, like, maybe I'm really good at it, and we get that $75 at the end of the season. Gary, that's the um, other thing. I Because my original bit, before I did this bit, and decided the first bit was too patronizing, was uh, seeing if I could get Guppy listeners that. to fund you a tenure at vocational school. Okay. Because I worry about um, your skill sets. I, I, I do have a job. Um, the, you, uh, you have a job that is so dependent on the decadence of modern society that as soon as the first element falls, you will be homeless. I, I do I too. Think so. I do too. Yeah. yeah. No, I know. I, I think that uh, my wife's income might allow me to stop being homeless for at least a little bit. Okay. Do you understand that that's not a good counter argument to what I'm saying? <laughs> it's not a counter argument. I'm just planning. Yeah. You're um, going, <laughs> my, my, if, if the market falls apart, my goal is to go from podcaster to kept man. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to live in a dog cage. Professional um, one woman gigolo. Yes. Uh, and sadly, uh, she's not a trucker house husband and father to our cats. Yeah, I could I could probably also do light manual labor uh, during the day. Or you're always going to need customer service. That's what I did before when I hated my job. I'm good at that. Gary, um, I would like I, – we're in the middle of a bit. I would like you to pitch me briefly on your light manual labor career. Uh, Are you the, going to the uh, Home Depot to get picked up? I'm, I'm, no, no, no. Lighter than that. I'm, yeah, I'm doing lots Gary, of walks. I didn't think it was going to be heavier. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do lots of walks. I could maybe like. Um... Hold on, hold on. Did you just say doing lots of walks? Yeah. Is that the job you're performing, or is that yeah. your resume? Oh no, it could be my job. I could maybe like walk dogs. Okay, sure. There's light manual labor. You know, that's the that's the level I'm looking at. Okay, yeah. 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 You're the dog you walker of the apocalypse. Yeah, I could I could take that. Might be all right with that if they didn't eat all the dogs. You know. Yeah. 
<laughs> the, um, or, I mean, I guess Dog Walker takes on a, a really dark connotation in the post-apocalypse. Yeah, you're... Uh, I you're promise I will get you the most uh, sinewy, plump mm-hmm. dogs. Yeah, and I'll walk them directly into your mouth. I will marble your dogs. I do not yes. want to have the marbling argument. <laughs> the uh, uh, Marbles. Leave oh, well. yeah, we can do a marbles league. Uh, serial quote killing. Is which parts in quotes? Killing. Okay. So in my mind, this is where you have to put yourself in a position where you could kill a person and get away with it, but don't. You don't. I, that's like a nine. And it's because we'd be founding it together and you'd fucking run away with that. (laughs) Like you think about that a lot. It, Gary, it's, that's it's such some... a nice thing to say to me. <laughs> it's, it's under, like, Gary, no did you lie. know you just complimented me so much? <laughs> yeah, I, I just I you know me, I just like saying true things. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I'm like I, that is what I'm concerned with. But yeah, you would you would carry that to the pennant. <laughs> hey, thanks. Like, man. <laughs> I, Gary, I've never felt this proud of myself. <laughs> the, um, Certainly not I, after I, a I, thing you've said. All I'd have to be is like microscope to your Punisher. Like you just asked me to look things up on Google so I could tell them to you yeah. and stuff, but then you would, you would take it. So. All right. Uh, breaking the cardinal rule of trucker seduction and falling in love with your trucker. Like three. It, yeah. I don't know. I'm married. I, I'm not necessarily looking to fall in love with anyone else. Oh, I'm married is the third one I wanted to eliminate from this conversation. Oh. That's right. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> you forgot about that one. The, uh, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not. And then also, uh, in a league situation. Yeah. Once you fall in love once, that's kind of your retirement, right? Well, no, I mean, the trucker you lifespan is not long. <laughs> I never thought about that. They work. They do have like, a, they drop like flies. <laughs> they work long hours and are jacked to the gills on no dos. The, the survival rate's low. And all they do is sit and they can only eat at truck stops. Like, you know. God damn. We're too mean to our truckers. Maybe they need some more we, love. The uh, my my abusive stepdad was a trucker. That guy sucks. So I I carry a a, a, a vendetta. Um, a fourth phrase discovered. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> this one I think I've pitched on the show before, but it's only because I really want to do it. Only fans. League. So we just we get together a group of like ten people. Okay. And we see who can get the most money on OnlyFans in two months. No. No? Why? Uh, yeah, low. Because um, I wouldn't. I don't think I'd be very good at competing in that. Oh. It's the, the league part. It's the competitive part. But that's the fun part. Like, I don't actually care about making money through OnlyFans. I just, like, there's a lot of shit you can do on those sites, I've heard from Google. Sites from the site. Um, yeah, I just... Uh, doesn't That's a very to... competitive space. OnlyFans always wants to remind you it just doesn't have to be dicks and boobs. No, I know. Like, I, I, I know it from the site. But the, the thing is, it's so competitive there. With the dicks and boobs, who have remained very popular, I don't well, think I can outperform maybe you get out of dick a little. I, uh, then I, I don't think I can outperform in the dick department. Just being honest with you, I, I don't have a, I don't have like a, a you know, a Charlotte's Web. I don't have Charlotte's Wang. Gary, like nobody's, I... nobody's even some some dong in spider web above my shorts gary this feels terrible for me because i (laughs) you built me up so much with that serial killing thing and now to hear (laughs) you denigrate your own penis is it's not about the size or the shape or the angle it's about what you do with it man i think with some good photography Mm. skills and some thoughtful approach you know, there's some people who are all about that pixelation. Like they don't get to see it; they just see the pixels, and that's yeah. that's a turn on for them. Yeah, and you could do that with digital stuff. You could be the pixel I king. Just, I just don't think that I have it. It's you know, it's not a competitive dick, and that's okay because it doesn't have to compete. But it, it's I wouldn't I wouldn't call it <laughs> yeah. a competitive. Yeah, you have kind of locked down the one person. Yeah, yeah, no, like it's it's cool. It's it's none of my business anymore. Whatever happens down there is between it and and nothing else. It's great. It 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 gets the autopilot. Wow, this is a grim portrait of monogamy. <laughs> uh, next up, mm-hmm. drawing the pirate. Ten. 
right? Every week, we all get together, we start the timer, we draw the pirate. Mm-hmm. Be phenomenal. I love that that idea. And then we blindly move, like, we take them, we, you know, nobody knows whose pirate is whose, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we all just, pure honesty, we're not letting any fucking politics into this, we're not letting any fucking mm-hmm. Survivor Alliance bullshit come through. Mm-hmm. We just vote on the pirates. Yeah. Or see who gets into the Institute. That would also be good. Yeah. The the Institute that you could send the pirate or the turtle off to. Uh, extreme couponing. Like four. I I wish it wasn't so boring to extremely coupon. Yeah. It's, it saves a lot of money. Yeah. But I, I just, my time is worth something. You know? You know I don't agree with that, but at the same I time, I don't Why do don't you it. extreme coupon? I know. Yeah. That's a good question. Instead, I played the number go up. Chain of Memories. Yeah, the, the uh, Chain of Value. Ooh. <clears throat> yeah. The Kingdom Hearts Extreme Couponing app. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> do it, Sora. <laughs> um, that's my, my Kingdom Hearts catchphrase. Uh, throwing this one good rock I found. I'm a little seven. Okay. Like, I found a really good rock, and we're just going to mm-hmm. see who can throw it the furthest. And don't throw it too far, because if it goes into the neighbor's yard, we're not getting the fucking rock back. Yeah, we need the rock back. Maybe we gotta put get a string on it. I feel like that would fuck with the aerodynamics. And hit us a lot. And yeah. hit us a lot. Gary, I yeah. hadn't even thought about that with the string on the end of the <laughs> yeah. rock. It feels like it'd probably whip back at us. It'd probably hit, get to the end of the string. There'd be a little bit of elasticity, and then we hit ourselves in the head. Yeah. And then get knocked out. Which I also feel like we could do competitively. That would be very good. Being not who can is it who can be knocked out the most times in an hour or who can stay unconscious for the longest time but still Ooh. wake up? I like that second one. It's win win. For our wives. Yeah. <laughs> it's win win yeah. for yeah, exactly. God, it's a, um, such a nice vacation for my wife if I was in a coma. This isn't uh fraud. Even though we're talking about that. Oh, oh, okay. I see. I was thinking when you lose oh. and you don't get up. And then when I was like, you know, win, win. And you're like, yeah, for our wives. My mind immediately went to insurance. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> I just, um, I don't know. I don't think that I deserve a coma. Like, I, I think that I like, I would like it too much. <laughs> I, just, I don't think it would happen. Bleak. That's um, a really bleak sentence. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I just, I don't know. In many ways, like a coma is very aspirational to me. And I, I just don't think that there's, you know, I'm not quite that lucky. I don't think I deserve a coma is, <laughs> all right, new league saying the most late capitalism thing. <laughs> uh, Comas nine. are for closers. <laughs> wake up, wake up. Comas yeah. are for closers. I don't know. You wake up. Uh, you wanted to. Uh, now, Gary, how um, did you know that my uh, next one was going to be System of a Down impressions? I, uh, you know, I just had a, I had a feeling. I can't really think about. <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't like that band, but they've forever t- tainted the phrase "wake up" to me. Uh, every time I hear the word phrase "wake up," I hear like "wake up." Uh, every single time. Yeah, that's powerful. No exception. They're very uh, powerful. Knitting. Six. Really? Yeah, I like learning stuff, and I find that relaxing. Like it, it's uh, it seems like it'd be relaxing to be good at knitting, and useful. Like I could do that in the collapse of society. I could like darn socks. You know. Everyone's Taking walks and darning socks. <laughs> yeah, light labor, baby. The old walking sock. It's it's so fascinating to me to hear you evaluate yourself in the apocalypse when we both know deep down you will be ahead on a pike so quickly. Thinking like the thing that makes me hesitate about that is whether there's any nutritional value in my head. Um, I mean the cheek fat. But you're, yeah, you're, I got more of that than you do. It's uh there's probably, I think I'm probably, there's some valuable KKLs inside my head that wouldn't want to be wasted, but my skull on a bike or as a goblet. Yes. Okay. Really so for goblet now who's fucking arrogant. You think the, you've got a useful. goblet worthy skull. They would just be useful. I uh, know, but you, they're not going to keep they, making them. Gary, there's going to be <clears throat> a lot of skulls available at this point. <laughs> That's true. Now, I'm not saying you have nice cheekbones. Thank you. 
But I just, I don't know, man. I feel like. Don't you think that people like us, like me, you, and Cole with our gigantic melons, like will become a premium, kind of like a big gulp cup? Okay, so kind of like. Like uh, people are going to want the big bubba. Well, like like it. the Morton Joe types are going to want to show how much water or horse blood mixed with milk they have. So they want a yes. really big goblet to show it off. Or just they don't want to refill it constantly. You know, they just they just want a big go- like an all day gauntlet. Well, gauntlets don't have lids. Well, this is for water. You don't need a lid. It, Gary, you're going to want a lid in the apocalypse when water has become such uh, a premium. Yeah, no yeah, one's Gary. Like, no one's drinking fucking water out of a skull goblet. Do yeah. you, you would get made fun of by all the wa- other warlords. Gary, uh, let's talk for private. a second about what we're doing as warlords in the apocalypse. Okay. I'm going to get myself a big old skull, fill it with water, and then drink it. I think everyone's going to make fucking fun of you, man. I do it in private or in front of my eunuchs. There's no point in having a skull goblet in private. It's not a practical way to drink things. It's only for effect. What if What if I just like it, though? The- like, I, I'm going to try to do self-care in the apocalypse. I might just feel cool doing it, just to myself. But I don't want to drink that much blood and horse. I need water because it's the fucking apocalypse and I'm, I, I'm getting dehydrated. I got bad kidneys. Then get you know? a fucking canteen. Get one of those fucking uh, camelbacks. Why does not What if I... But the, the skull feels so cool. It, But it's... Cool doesn't exist in isolation. Cool is a performance that you do in front of other people. And if you're putting fucking water in your skull cup, you're really, really fucking with the optics. What if, what if I tell them it's vodka? That makes you sound like an insecure teenager. <laughs> oh, this I'm, I'm drinking. This is this isn't water in my solo cup. This is vodka. Oh, can we smell it? No, no, it's mine. What if I communicated that in a warlordly way? Okay, real fast. Okay, we're at the we're at the warlords' party. Okay, twenty warlords have Who come together for, for like a summit. Okay. So, uh, blood fuck. What you drinking? Uh Vodka. Can I smell it? Why? I'm a pervert. I'm Lord Take Pervertron. The pervert robot. Lord Pervertron. We're all sick of your massive metallic I, dong getting all over everything. Oh, contraire. Lord Pervertron is robot costume everywhere but the cock. Uh, then my uh, blood fuck would, would start a rumble with Lord Pervertron. In order to to prove that that manliness and Lord Blood Bloodfuck would have an edge because he was stone cold sober and hydrated. What are we? Yeah. What are we doing, man? Oh, well, we're obviously we're talking about Whipper. <laughs> we're talking. I, I don't. More. I, I don't understand the, how I, anyone doesn't know I, that. I have okay. One more on the list. But <laughs> yeah, just that was a good segue, for a second there, where we were just role pl- like we were we were doing a tabletop <laughs> RPG, but no dice. Yeah. Of us as warlords having a little yep. slap fight <laughs> to figure out whether you were drinking water out of your skull well, cup. To see if I was actually tough. Yeah. And tough enough to drink vodka for all the guys. Oh my God. Such a performance of <laughs> non masculinity. I but in the future I'm so thirsty. The last one is serial killing no quotes. Uh well, I like to. Okay. Well, and now whiskey for me. I have those numbers. Yeah, you can plug them into a, a like a put them on a, on a card and put them into an old computer mainframe. Gary, what if we just sent an email after this recording to everyone we know, saying, okay. "Do you want to join our how many jelly beans in the jar league?" <laughs> league. Now, for this, uh, if we say everyone we know, um, they're going to need. We can't really do this with pictures. Because no, no, to in Port- everyone jar. we know in Portland. Okay. Um, Which for me is you. Now, for a league, though, don't we need at least one other team? Or would we just like be... Oh, it's like individuals. It's it's each of us okay. is our own oh, team. Oh, I see. Um, yeah, I, that's fun. I don't know. It's pretty fun. <laughs> like, or, you know what? We could just do this as a party. What if you... Yeah, what well, if I, that was well, the that was theme the, of a party? Um, Not the, you know, the pure theme of a party, but uh, I was just thinking I was going to... That's where my mind went to as well. Is that like if I went to a party, why aren't there more parties with how many jelly beans in the jar? 
And maybe you have like um, five jars of different stuff. And you're not doing... Yes. There's no fucking cute Alex Horn Taskmaster shit where you've got like tennis balls hidden inside the jar to change the volume. Yes. No, no, no. And we're not doing prices right rules uh, no. or anything like that. It's just closest, period. Absolute closest. You can go over. Okay. Just close. So. Do you win, do you win the jar? That's going to get expensive. It'd be well, but also it'd be real fucked up to make Nick win a big jar of jelly beans. Yeah. Or, or, and we didn't, it doesn't even have to be jelly beans. When you said we have jars of different kinds and everything, different types, like have Nick win a jar full of golf balls or screws. Nick's got you know, a golfer's like body. Nick's got a jockey's body. It's not mutually exclusive. I guess that's true. They make small golf. They make mini golf. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Meme. Very meme. <laughs> He's a portable friend. I really want to go to a party and just there's little, there's just little amusements on the side. Just yeah, yeah. carnival games. No, the, the, like uh, what you're talking about is a fun fair. And like, I also want to go to a fun fair or go to a fun fair themed party. <laughs> we got to go to Oaks Park, man. I know. I know. We will. It's, it's unseasonably hot all the time, but I it's going to cool off. Uh, I think uh, next week we got some 70s. Excellent. So. Gary, what's Whipper do? Uh, this is my least favorite class of enemy. Uh, these three. Uh, uh, I, I, I like favorite. them design wise, but they they do hit you when when they feel like it. Yeah, I, I, I like them design wise. When you say design wise, you just mean visually. Visually, I mean visually. Yeah, yeah. I, I love it visually. They just feel like they just hit you when they want to. Um, this is a, a guy. It looks a little bit like an Isaac, but with his skin pulled up over his teeth. Yeah. Like a Cenobite. Uh, he runs around the room. He sprints at you. Now, Gary, a reminder that Cenobites hang from the ceiling, but Cenobites <laughs> grow out of the floor. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know. I like that one. Laugh too big for, for jokes so small. I like that. <laughs> oh, no. Really, I like that one. That feels really bad, man. <laughs> no, I like that one. That'd be like if I dangled my keys in front of you and you got really happy. No, this is way stupider than that. Okay. That, that was, like, that was uh, just very pleasantly stupid. Okay. Um, I finally understand charm. King of oh. here I come. Um, <laughs> yeah. So he, he runs around the room, and if, if he gets within, like, a distance that is hard to quantify, like, you know, like half the screen, you know, a little less than half the screen, yeah. he whips a little lash out at you that moves faster than anything in the game. Yeah. And he hits you because he feels like it. Yep. And you, you don't dodge this, it feels like. Um, if you're if you're already you can't react to it is probably a better way. Like if you're already moving, sometimes it won't hit you. But if you uh, if you see it and then decide to do something, you can't really do anything. You just need to know that he has a death radius, basically. Yes, exactly. Um, stay away from this guy, and he moves really fast and erratically. It's hard to stay away from. Him. Luckily, he's just in uh, late zones. Uh, and then um, I don't actually know how Whipper and Snapper are different from each other besides health. Um, yeah, their I, their this. descriptions are identical. So let me uh, much more dangerous. They possess a much longer fleshy whip. Okay, yeah, and they're scarier looking. They are. Yeah. They're an eyeball with fangs. Yep, uh, with skin pulled back, like uh, as like a hood above this. Yeah, it, I'm not. I'm describing it poorly. It's kind of like if a beholder was inside your mouth. Yeah, it's a it's a lot like that. Like the um the Zephod Buell rocks from the uh, the two thousands movie. Yeah, where the head was inside his mouth. Um, and then the flagellant, uh, who does the same thing, uh, also has a long whip, uh, but will also deflect your shots. Yeah. And since the basic way to deal with these guys is to shoot them before they get anywhere near you, uh, yep. real pain in the ass. I will say visually, this is where they kind of lose the plot a little bit. It's too uh, much pretty, blood and gore. Yep. You can't really see what's going on. And they had such a beautiful escalation with the whipper and the snapper. Yeah. I feel like. Um, now it's just kind of like, uh, some pixels, uh, in Gehenna, these guys wear, uh, fetish gear, like bondage yeah. gear, like actual Cenobites, which I, I, you know, is, I think the, uh, the idea there, yeah. Gary, you want to do one more class of enemy since it's a small one? Yeah, let's do it. We fucked around a lot on this one. No, it's, it's, I, I thought we might've, might've hit zero, but, uh, didn't quite get there on this no. one. This is actually f fully in the middle of the pack, but we did talk about slowing down. Um, we are at the halfway point. We don't want to burn cast. Um, is, that, is that an argument against talking about more monsters and just kind of seeing where 
No, no, no. We can we can talk about more what's monsters. in the news. Gary, you want to look at some news headlines for a minute? And just, I love uh, the news right now. The news has never gotten better. Uh, it is it is uh, good to me to have just a steady string string of uh, of that into my head. Uh, let's uh, let's not talk about the news. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think I maybe hurt Andrew's feelings by disappearing. He thought maybe I was inviting him into a bit. Oh, but really? I was using him for a bit. Well, let's yeah. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and send him a. Send him another text right now, man. Well, let me workshop it. Just like, just well, like, I, I sent a. a lol to his Riddler joke. Okay. So I didn't just not leave him hanging on the, the funny Riddler, Riddler joke. Why do you think you hurt his feelings then? I don't know. Cause probably more problems with me than anything. Else. Okay. <laughs> the, what the, what um, did he do to make you think you, he was, you hurt his you know, feelings? I, so he didn't do anything. I just sent him this, this funny premise uh-huh. and then asked him a question and he did a bunch of kind of bantering back and I just left it hanging. Well, send a little banter. I, I know, but I'm trying to banter with you at the same time. It's hard. Gary, just double banter. Okay. Uh, so I said lol. And then I... Uh, um, the Riddler's arch enemy. The Lawler? Is that good? Yeah, man. That's really funny. He's gonna, that seems he's, pretty he, good. You're going to get a lol back on that. I, Let me I, see if I get a haha. Ooh, that yeah, that'd be good. Thing. Or maybe just an emoji. Yeah. Gary, you're good at writing just, jokes, man. Thank you. The Lawler. Pretty good. Um, yeah, it is hard to double double bant. I, I don't do it because I'm so focused on the show because I'm a fucking professional. Yeah. That's true. I was going to say the same thing. Um, yeah. Uh, man, I'm I, thirsty. You want to hear about a dream I had last night? I do. I, I had a, only if I can tell a dream too. I'm going to be bored, but I'll listen. Okay. Um, I was at drumming club last night. Okay. It was just like a club where people could try drumming in front of a room full of people. Okay. Uh, this is in the dream. This is in the dream. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, one guy came in and he had a big like saw-esque apparatus that he used to attach a drum to his head. And then he just banged his head into things to make the drum go. Hmm. And then I never got to drum. Which I think oh. is for the best, because I was in drumline in, or not drumline, I was in some sort of winter drums in yeah. high school, and I was de- it was determined that I could only play the big, big, big bass drum. The big slow drum. The big slow drum, yeah. <clears throat> the dream I had? Gary. Yeah. Oh, uh, that I think the reason why I brought it up is because it seemed very Will-like. I was in a play... But the play was like an escape room thing. If you got to the end of the play and you forgot a step, the demon that was doing the play against you won. And then you just had to do it again until you got the play right. Gary, can I take from your boring dream an actual premise? Sure. What if we recorded this show at Sleep No More? I think they wouldn't like that that much. I think they wouldn't like it either, but they might. I think we. I think it would be live Guppy live getting kicked out of sleep no more. <laughs> okay, yeah. I don't. <laughs> yeah. I don't write it down. What? What if we did a Kickstarter right now that was send okay. Guppy to sleep no more? If you're not familiar with sleep no more, it is a uh, interactive theater thing in New York where they play out. I don't even know if they still do it right now, but uh, where they play out the plot of Macbeth. But it's in different rooms in this weird kind of eyes wide shut theater space. Yes. And what I, if there were the two of us guppying through it? I would like to. I I would have always wanted to do sleep no more. Yeah, me too. If I blew my chance guppying it, <laughs> I would feel bad. Oh, yeah, I guess um, they probably do have a big board of do not come backs. Yeah, I, I don't think we can necessarily like we. Well, the the trick would be to do it like just regular the first time. Okay. And they're like, those guys are great. They can come back whenever they like. And then we come in as gu- as our guppy jokers, uh, as our guppy personas. Gary, the toddler th- and the toddler's wife. If you, let's be honest with ourselves. We would want on some level, if we did sleep no more to get credit from sleep no more for being very good at sleep no more. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because they we, do do things like you can like get taken aside by performers for like solo scenes. Yeah. And, and it sounds awesome. I would want to, it would be really fun to just like ask these, uh, these Macbeth characters what they think about, you know, the snapper enemy. Yeah. And then we get, then we can like advertise that. Like we got a guest. Yeah. You know, and it's Lady Macbeth. 
<laughs> um, Gary, I guess what I'm feeling right now is my Guppy's the most successful thing I've ever done as an individual. Yes. And I really want to find ways to turn it into a grift to let me do other things I want to do. Yeah, but it, it's this is the same prison that I was in when my uh, novelty rap band got popular. Um, <laughs> and you I tried to do novelty rap at the Sleep No More People? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah but they didn't care for my raps about Teddy Roosevelt. Um, the uh, um, No, uh, watch I was it, in prison. Watch it about. out. They try to cook my goose, but it takes more than that to kill a bull moose. Ooh, is that from the the? Is that from something? That, no, that was straight off the oh, dome. Straight off the dome. That's excellent. I have an entire uh, two, three <laughs> verses, two choruses off the dome. Teddy Roosevelt rap I can do, but I'm not going to. I, I don't think I got. I Gary, can we siphon some of the appreciation from my thoughtless Cenobite joke and put it into my <laughs> improvised rap song quoting Teddy Roosevelt? It's it's very good. It's very good. It's just it's no Cenobite Cenomite. You know, like I hold out for Cenobite Cenomite in any given situation. Sucks. That or higher. Sucks. Um, <laughs> what should people do if they like this show? I don't fucking know. Start hey, a league with is us. A, this, is a, this is a great episode. I know him. Uh, it's just the last minute that's been damaging. <laughs> just because it feels bad for you doesn't mean it's not a great episode. I know. Um, uh, Gary, people can go to patreon.com slash duckfeedtv to support the whole network. Uh, trickle down economics will bring some of that money to me. It's true. The, uh, yeah. Uh, and you can also uh, read or review us on Apple Podcasts, Podcast Addict, wherever. Yeah. Uh, uh, like yeah. this, like uh, Tez Cataxia, because Tez Caxia on Podcast Addict. Funny show with strong sibling energy. The first host is a very chill and open-minded guy. He shares a lot of his private life, talking about his vasectomy and his wife, etc. I also recommend his other shows based on tabletop role-playing games and monsters. The second host is a delightfully mischievous, uh, sorry, is delightfully mischievous, delivering lots of curveballs during the podcast. He's written a lot of articles for a news website and is a very insightful voice in the world of games. Travis is a bit annoying, though. <laughs> and that's a five-star review. That's very cute. I, I, I was really good. on a journey with that one. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, like, I was just like, this is the most, you know, just nice, straightforward uh, review we ever received. Yeah. Um, yeah, very cute. I also like the idea of thinking you as mischievous. I'm, I I do, my comedy persona has a lot of mischief in it. My yeah, person like persona, mischief. it's weird. No, I'm you, very cantankerous and grumpy in my real life. Yeah, and you don't do that much mischief. No, that's true. Like, I'm not. You, you, you darned nary a sock when you lived under my, lived under my room. Yeah, if uh, I, we live together, yeah. that's not mischief. Uh, fixing no, that's not mischief. Is... I was, I was thinking, I was trying to think of the cobbling elves. What am I thinking of? Uh, I mean, that's just helpful. Yeah. Well, no, but they, like they, they, they giggle while they do it. I don't know. I might be misremembering. I'm just saying that if you're describing me as a N64 title, Mischief Makers is not near the top. That's true. Probably yeah. wave racers. I waste it, a lot of mischief... raves. <laughs> I waste yeah, a lot of raves. Takers. Fuck, we got to stop. Yeah, we got to stop. We we found the perfect ending point and we missed it. I said waste uh, a lot of raves. I'm really having a lot of trouble here, man. What if we did well, Guppy at a rave? It'd be pretty hard to listen to, but it'd be fun. What it'd be super fun. What also, what if we did? Uh, what if we did? And we took the rave really seriously. And we both took like E and shit. Yeah, Gary. Or what? Like maybe we don't need to bring a lot of other people and their diseases into it. What if we just took ecstasy for one? one? <laughs> yeah. in, a, in a single featureless room with a table and two chairs. Yeah. <laughs> just nonstop eye contact. I mean, we Iowa could just without the ecstasy, we could, we've recorded guppy together before and it's weird, but what if we were doing it staring straight into each other's eyes the whole time? That'd be really hard. Like the uh, resident evil seven DLC. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Hey Gary, yeah, I said yeah to that. I didn't play that, so I oh, I got well, I, I'm gonna call you out when coward. you do that. I'll fucking call myself out. Yeah, coward. What did it mean? Uh, oh, there, there's a DLC that's about playing blackjack against the sun. Uh, oh, it's like this high stakes, like weird blackjack with extra rules and and consequences. You'd love it. It's great. Gary, you think you've it's, it's like an hour. Say what? Are you thinking of inscription? No, no, no. It had Resident Evil Seven DLC did it first. It's called um, Twenty One or something like that. It's really good. I worked out who you meant, but at first it sounded like playing blackjack against the sun. <laughs> That's what we've been doing during this heat wave, right? Yeah. 
That's all I got. We got to go. We got to, Gary, we're out of energy. We got to stop saying things and just do some kind of sign off. What kind of sign off do you want to do? Um, some ghost. Shit, I got that one wrong. I got to go. Got to go.